eating barbecue, stain. You're drinking wine, stain. It seems everything you do can result in some staining on your clothes. So we're getting tips on how to DIY I DIY those stains right out of your clothes with Katie Kelly this morning. Good morning. Good morning. And look, you wore a nice white I shirt did. for this just to remind us all about uh, how bad staining can be because I'm always dealing with this. I'm the sloppiest person ever. Um, and this idea came about because of yesterday. Yes. When you were doing this. Because mm -hmm. if anything will <laughs> induce staining, it will be being in a blueberry pie eating contest. Now you came out stain free though, although you did have a bib. I did, but did. I don't, but my face was definitely stained <laughs> and up my nose. <laughs> oh. There was still stains involved, but yeah, it was a very intense yeah. blueberry pie eating contest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're going to start with blueberries yes. and the kind of staining that can result from something like e eating blueberry pie or yeah, blueberry uh, pie, something fruit, like that. Yeah. fruit juice, yeah, any kind exactly. of berry. Oh, what do you do? Okay, so this tip is to actually use boiling water. So not hot water from your tap, but actually boil some water. You can use a pot or a kettle okay. and it will just loosen up the really? stain. And I suggest putting your piece of clothing over something like a bowl in your sink. Mm. pouring it on. Obviously you have to be very careful because yeah. you're dealing with hot water. Uh, but yeah, it'll just loosen it up and really? it'll pour out. So this works great for things like fruit and fruit juices and berries and things wow. like that. Wow, okay. So when you're eating that strawberry shortcake, that'll help too. Yes. Uh, this, oh, the rest of this counter looks like a strange cooking segment here. <laughs> I know, uh, it so does. <laughs> sure. We're not going to drink this vinegar, I hope. <laughs> no. So this is for our coffee. So this uh, is what I'm the queen of, spilling my coffee. Coffee stain? Luckily it's usually on like my black pants nice. and I'm just like running around and just leave it there, which is awful but you know if you're wearing something yeah. like I'm wearing or you're wearing like a lighter color uh, it can, it can ruin doing? your outfit mm. so a great thing that you can use to remove coffee stains is actually vinegar so you want to put one part vinegar one part water half and half <laughs> and use that on your coffee stain it works great oh look there's me yesterday that was that photo <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> so really, wow, vinegar, mm -hmm. okay. And vinegar, as you know, can be used to clean so many things. Right. It's just one of those things handy that's to great around, to have around. Right? Yeah. Okay, next, um, <laughs> so like a potato. Yes. And what is that there? That's the salt. Salt? So for all of your rusty pots and pans, uh. believe it or not, a potato works oh, great. So really? you just take a potato, cut it in half, and you just take it in like dip it in some salt okay. like that and then just use it to scrub your pan really? and it works great and what you can do too is after your potato starts to wear down you can yeah. just take like Cut a little off. slice and then keep going and then keep going so you can oh basically use the whole potato isn't that it is so the most cool. random thing but it works yeah. so well that is really like i wonder who discovered that i know there's a natural acid in the potato, potato that and that's how it works helps clean so the neat save save your pots and pans mm -hmm. and last i see an interesting combination here which maybe you wouldn't want to drink because it's wine and, and salt yes but i take it salt has something to do with red wine stains then yeah exactly so red wine as you know oh my goodness it stains yeah, bad really it bad. starts to stain as soon as it spills wow. so you need to try and clean it up immediately obviously you're going to try and soak it up with a towel or whatever right away but once you do all you can Use a little bit of salt. Pour it generously on top of the, wherever the stain is, whether it's clothes, carpet, whatever, and it will start to absorb absorb the moisture, mm. and it'll help take away the rest of the stain. It's just like putting your phone in a bag of rice right. after okay. you drop so it in the toilet. Idea. It like yeah. absorbs it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Very yes. interesting. And then you just sweep away the salt, and exactly. off you go. Exactly Very that. cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for this. No problem. I, I look forward to checking in on this shirt later, later. today yeah. to see how it's doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's really wonderful. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go over to Elise now.